Hello, Mrs. Didlick here, and welcome to today's maths. Today, we're going to learn to solve missing number number sentences. But first, I want you to make something, make some counters. Very easy. Just take a piece of paper and put a load of shapes on it. I'm using circles and then cut them out. There you go. Um, you're going to need about 20 of these, so I'm going to give you time to do it. Pause the video and make some counters. Have you done that? I've made blue circles. Now today we're looking at number sentences with missing numbers. So we're looking at what we already know about number sentences. Um, do you remember what this symbol means? Do you remember? Add. That's right. Do you remember this one? Subtract or take away. Subtract. And finally, equals. That's the one we're looking at today. Equals. Did you know that equals also means the same as? Take a look at this. Here's a completed number sentence. I'm going to use my counters to see if it's true. Uh, first number is two, so I'm going to use two counters. One, two. Next number is one. One. And the number sentence ends in a three, so I'm going to use three counters. One, two, three. Oh look! There's three counters that side and three counters this side. Three equals three. Three is the same as three. So two add one equals three. Two add one is the same as three. Oh, I can use this uh, way to um, solve number sentences that have got missing numbers. Take a look at this one. Here's a number sentence with a missing number. Two add something equals five is the same as five. Let's use my counters. Oh, I'm going to need two counters this side. And I'm going to need five counters this side. Oh, hang on, that's not equal, that's not the same as. How many more counters do I need this side to make it equal, to make it the same? Well, I've got five this side and just two. I need some more. One, two, three, four, five. How many counters did I add to this side? That's right, I added three. The missing number must be three. Two add three equals five. Two add three is the same as five. Let's try a different one. This number sentence has a missing number to start with. I wonder if it will still work. Hang on, this side's got something, add one. So I'm going to put one counter down that side. It's the same as four. I'm going to put four this side. Two, three, four. Hmm, that's not the same, is it? How many more do I need this side to make it the same as that side? Four. So one, two, three, four. How many have I added this side? Three. That must be my missing number. Oh no, this is a completely different number sentence. 
This number sentence is subtract. I wonder if it still works. Let me see. Um, six. I need six this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this side I need four. One, two, three, four. Mm, those are definitely not equal. So I have to take some away to make it equal. How many do I need to subtract from this side to make it the same as this side? Mm, one, two, three, four. Oh, I don't need that one. And I don't need that one. So that's four is the same as four. How many have I taken away? Two. That must be my missing number. Those were some pretty easy number sentences, weren't they? But it shows that the equal sign is very important because it has to be the same value, the same number, both sides. It has to balance. Ooh, it has to balance. Imagine it like a pair of scales. And what's on this side has to be the same as that side. So your number sentences can be all, all sorts of different things. It can even look backwards like um, three equals or is the same as two add one. Because we know that two add one is three and that's three. So it's the same. But that number sentence looks a bit backwards, but it still works. So I've got a challenge for you now. I've got a challenge. I've got some number sentences, number sentences for you to solve. They've got missing numbers. OK, you can use your counters. You can use your fingers. You might need extra counters because some of the numbers are quite big, but it should work. And remember, the equal sign, the numbers both sides have to balance, have to be the same, the same as. Have a go. Here's the number sentence challenge for you. Remember, the equal sign has to balance both sides of the number sentence to make it work. Pause the video and have a go yourself. Here's all the answers. Did you spot the tricky ones? Some of them were add, some of them were subtract. <gasps> this one was tricky. Did you get them right? I've got another challenge for you now. I want you to write your own missing number number sentences and then see if you can get somebody in your house to solve them. Have fun. Bye.